welcome today to Outpouring from the Throne Room of God with Ty and Betsy Tice. Our episode today is Having Perfect Peace in Turbulent Times. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Yes, Lord, we trust in you. And in that, we have your perfect peace. Psalm twenty nine eleven, The Lord gives strength to his people, and the Lord blesses his people with peace. 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Romans 12, 18. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. That means even when they don't understand the situation that you're in and they seem to be literally hurtful to you because of it. Live at peace. Know that it's not something that they meant to do or something that they meant to say. But your peace doesn't come from them. Your peace comes from God. Romans sixteen twenty, The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. I love to hear that crunching sound. It is one of my most favorite sounds is when Satan is being defeated. Psalm 119, 65. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing can make them stumble. Isaiah 26, 12. Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who are wearied and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take your perfect rest in him, my friend. Don't be discouraged about the things. Just Crawl up into Father Daddy's laps and just say, Here I am, Lord. You're my comforter. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace, as in the congregations of the Lord's people. John sixteen thirty three. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Psalm 4, 8, In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Daniel 10, 19, And he said, O man greatly loved, fear not. Peace be with you. Be strong and of good courage. And as he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Isaiah thirty two seventeen and the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness quietness and trust forever. Isaiah fifty two seven, how beautiful on the mountains, 
are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. It doesn't matter your disparity today. God is still reigning in your life. He is still the king forevermore. Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Proverbs three sixteen through 18. And this is talking about laying hold of wisdom and gaining understanding. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are of pleasantness. And in her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold fast are called blessed. And Lord, right now, we're going to stop and we're going to pray for those that are listening, that they may hold fast to your wisdom. They may hold fast to your understanding, that they will walk in the tree of life and not in the tree of disparity and death, and that they will walk in your righteousness. Proverbs twelve twenty Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but those who plan peace have joy. You wonder where your joy went? Start devising goodness, mercy, and your joy with that peace will return. John fourteen twenty seven Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans fifteen thirteen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Romans fourteen seventeen. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, brethren, rejoice, aim for restoration, comfort one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Philippians 4, 7. In the peace of God, which surpasseth all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Colossians 3.15 And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. And 2 Thessalonians 3.16 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace, at all times, in every way. The Lord be with you all. Second John 1, 3. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, the Father's Son, in truth and love. And we close with Jude 1, 2. May mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you, my dear friend. And know that no matter how joyous everybody else is, 
you have something even more important than merriment. You have the joy of the Lord through the Holy Spirit. God bless you and go with you this day. So